Swallowed Star 2, Origin Continent. Chapter 193 to Chapter 195. Have fun reading as well as listening. Chapter 193, Dream Realm, 7th of Volume 5. Huyang City, City Lord's Mansion, inside the silent chamber beneath the Star Tower. Two figures of Luo Feng sat cross-legged, one with a perfect divine body, and the other with a world life-form body. Over the course of such a long time, Luo Feng's perfect divine body had fully restored by absorbing energy from a small universe, returning to its peak condition. The energy reserve of his world life-form body had also reached 60% of the perfect divine body's level. Blood Shadow Blade the perfect divine body of Luo Feng held the blood shadow blade, with mysterious patterns appearing on its surface, radiating an aura of endless destruction. I've now comprehended three of the six strikes of chaos. These three secret techniques have all been integrated into the blood shadow blade, Luo Feng gazed at the blade. After all, the blood shadow blade is a weapon of slaughter, nurtured with the Tao of Destruction at its core. In terms of offense, the Tao of Destruction certainly surpasses the Tao of Life. The fusion of both into the Tao of Life and Death is even more terrifying, though without a clear guide, progress is too slow. Luo Feng had already comprehended more than 10 God King level secret techniques of the Tao of Life and Death, but none had led to a breakthrough in any branch of the Tao. This showed just how difficult it was to carve out a new road. It was foreseeable. Comprehending the complete Tao of Destruction would certainly be easier than the Tao of Life and Death. Naturally, the Blood Shadow Blade was better suited to carry the Tao of Destruction. Once the secret techniques are engraved, wielding the Blood Shadow Blade, I can easily unleash three of the six strikes of chaos. Luo Feng looked at the blade. The mental and willpower requirements are much lower now. A weapon nurtured by oneself offers such an advantage. It perfectly aligns with oneself, making it much less mentally taxing to perform techniques. This way, during combat, the mind and willpower can focus on other techniques. Even with just one-tenth of my world life-form body holding the blood shadow blade, I could unleash the six strikes of chaos. Its power would probably be close to that of Brother Goe Su and Brother Wu Exian, but there's no need for that. Luo Feng understood clearly. Relying on his numerous avatars, he could already entangle God King Tian Kun. The emperors and lords of the two great ancient nations could tolerate him for now. But if a god king at the first level could reach the level of Brother Gue Su and Brother Wu Exian, what would those emperors and lords think? It would be hard to predict. When my strength progresses further and I can truly fear no one in the origin continent, things will improve a lot, Luo Feng had a clear path ahead, guided by several top-tier inheritances. Reaching a point in the origin continent where he feared no one was within his grasp. Multiple Daos progressed simultaneously. Advancing my mastery of the Daos is fundamental, but it requires steady progress, one step at a time. There's no rushing it. On the other hand, my mind and willpower have already reached a bottleneck. I can try to break through to beyond God King level while still in the first stage of God King. Luo Feng had this plan in mind. In the current era in the Origin Continent, there were three figures whose mind and willpower had reached beyond God King level. Both Emperor Qing and the Lord of Myriad Worlds had broken through after comprehending the complete Tao. As for Emperor Ming, he had reached beyond God King level in mind and willpower while still at the second stage of God King. Luo Feng, as a perfect divine body, had a soul foundation far surpassing that of his contemporaries, much deeper than Emperor Ming's. With this stronger foundation and the Li Yuan technique passed down by ancestor Yuan, Luo Feng was confident that, in the first stage of God King, he could attempt to break through. Of all the treasure lands ancestor Yuan left behind, the Dream Realm is the most suitable for the Great Destruction Heart Refining Technique. Luo Feng was particularly interested in the Dream Realm. This time, I'll bring one-tenth of my world life-form body's energy reserve. Luo Feng's thoughts stirred. A large portion of his world life-form body immediately split off, forming a silver-robed Luo Feng figure with one-tenth of the energy reserve. Such an amount of energy was enough for Luo Feng to send out numerous avatars. After entering the Dream Realm, he could take root there and use the environment to cultivate the Great Destruction Heart Refining Technique. Luo Feng was quite looking forward to it. The treasure lands ancestor Yuan had left behind were diverse. For instance, Tianhe was especially suited for cultivators with a water element Hunyuan bloodline, though Luo Feng had no interest in that. The Dream Realm, mysterious and strange, bred all sorts of rare and bizarre treasures. However, the deeper one ventured, the greater the effect on the mind. Some might even fall into an eternal slumber, unable to wake. Luo Feng, however, enjoyed such an environment. Three days later. The towering mountain, Huangya Mountain, standing trillions of kilometers high, had already welcomed the arrival of its organizer, Emperor Gui Su. Emperor Gui Su, clad in a green suit of armor, with an aged face, stood atop Huangya Mountain, waiting. Brother Gui Su, said God King Yuntian, a woman dressed in black, as she arrived. The members of the Reincarnation Pavilion would always conceal their presence and change their appearance when they acted. Now, God King Yuntian had fully restrained her aura, appearing utterly ordinary. They're here as well, Emperor Gui Su remarked, looking off into the distance. Two figures arrived, one behind the other. 
One was a tall, slender figure wearing a mask, and the other, a black-scaled, golden-horned figure. Is this brother Luo He? Emperor Guo Su, God King Yun Tian, and God King Wu Xian all smiled at Luo Feng's disguised form. While the three of them were familiar with one another, this was the first time they had seen Luo Feng's new disguise. How does it feel? Luo Feng asked with a smile. His new appearance borrowed certain traits from the Golden Horned Beast. It's indeed quite different from usual, God King Wu Xian praised from the side. Brother Luo He, your previous body had an incredibly strong life aura, but this one carries an aura of destruction. Luo Feng silently thought, formless and shapeless, I can change however I wish. In the origin continent, many were skilled in the Tao of Destruction, Emperor Gui Su nodded in agreement. There are also several who have mastered the art of avatars. In total, the supreme laws govern nine original Daos, and some god kings practice each of these Daos, though the number varies. The Tao of Time has the fewest practitioners, followed by cause and effect, extremes, and limitless, which are difficult to grasp and thus have fewer god king cultivators. Daos like space, matter, world, life, and destruction are easier to enter, so there are more god kings practicing them. But the Tao with the most practitioners is undoubtedly the Tao of Destruction. After all, as one grows, everyone studies the methods of slaughter. Wu Xian will trouble you to lead the way inside, Emperor Gui Su said. All right, God King Wu Xian responded. Buzz. A formless force immediately enveloped the four of them, and Luo Feng felt energy begin to flow. In an instant, the four of them seamlessly merged into the laws of heaven and earth. This. Luo Feng was somewhat stunned. Although they remained in the same place, the light, space fluctuations, and even the sensory detection of their presence became blurred. Even the concept of cause and effect was obscured. All attempts to probe them through the laws of heaven and earth were being distorted. No wonder the ancient Yenfeng kingdom attempted to ambush God King Wu Xian multiple times, even sending emperors after him, yet he always managed to escape. In the end, he chose to reincarnate of his own will, Luo Feng realized just how formidable this escape technique was. Let's go, God King Wu Xian winked at Luo Feng, showing off his skill in escape techniques. Whoosh! In an instant, the four of them traversed half of the origin continent. Up ahead is the entrance to the dream realm, God King Wu Xian said, looking ahead. Ahead was a dark canyon, so black and deep that it swallowed all light, all perception, and even God Kings found it hard to peer inside. The structure of the dream realm's entrance was unique, making it impossible to set up a stable array there. But the two ancient nations have dispatched God Kings to cover the entrance with a mobile array, God King Wu Xian explained with a smile. Among those present, only Luo Feng had never been inside, so God King Wu Xian was clearly explaining things to him. Later, I'll attempt to sneak in from one point. There's a good chance they won't detect me. If we're discovered, then we'll have to fight, God King Wu Xian grinned. Only Wu Xian and I need to fight, Emperor Gui Su added. Whoosh. The four of them immediately flew into the dark canyon. Buzz. As soon as they entered, Luo Feng felt an invisible force tugging at his mind and willpower. However, with Luo Feng's strength of will, he easily resisted it. This was a dark and shadowy world, where the entire space seemed to fluctuate and twist, influenced by an invisible and vast array. The entrance to the dream realm is within this vast area, which has been occupied by the two ancient nations. They've used this opportunity to block the entrance, God King Wu Xian explained as they proceeded slowly, trying not to attract any attention. The two ancient nations have also coordinated their arrays to intercept any intruders. Luo Feng quietly marveled. The dream realm, left behind by ancestor Yuan, had no restrictions at the start, yet entering it now was incredibly difficult. Hmm. Luo Feng noticed a towering white figure sitting cross-legged in the distance. This figure radiated an immense aura and was part of a large array, serving as one of its critical nodes. Engaging with him would trigger a full-scale counterattack from the array. That's the royalty of the Thunder Ancient Nation, God King Wu Xian remarked with a glance. It seems the Thunder Ancient Nation is guarding this area. He's guarding a rare treasure, God King Yun Tian transmitted her voice to them. Luo Feng saw it too, before the towering white figure grew a black fruit tree, laden with 666 fruits, which had not yet fully ripened. The rare treasures around the entrance to the dream realm all belong to the two ancient nations. There's no need to compete for them here. Let's head deeper, the further in, the better the treasures, God King Wu Xian suggested. The Thunder Ancient Nation's array was well concealed, but God King Wu Xian remained cautious. After flying for a long time, a rumbling sound was heard as golden chains crossed the void, covering the vast area and thoroughly searching every corner. We've now entered the array domain of the Yenfeng Ancient Nation, God King Wu Xian explained, clearly familiar with the situation. Normally, the two ancient nations are constantly at odds, but when it comes to blocking the entrance to the dream realm, they've joined forces. Their greed is blatant, Emperor Gui Su added, forcing independent god kings to band together. Luo Feng nodded. The complete blockade left no room for opportunity. If Luo Feng were acting alone, there would be no way to break through the dual arrays of the two ancient nations. However, with the four of them working together, they managed to pass through both major arrays without alerting anyone, not even the few royal god kings they encountered along the way. 
After nearly half a day of cautious flight, they finally exited the vast area surrounding the Dream Realm entrance. We're out of their array range now, God King Wu Xian chuckled. See? What can the two ancient nations do? They can't detect my stealth technique at all. Impressive, Luo Feng exclaimed. Big Brother Wu Xian's stealth technique is the best I've ever seen, God King Yun Tian also praised. Huh, God King Wu Xian laughed, clearly pleased with himself. Having glimpsed the workings of the Supreme Laws, Luo Feng had an even deeper appreciation for the terrifying nature of God King Wu Xian's stealth technique, which seemed to merge with the very operation of the Supreme Rules themselves. Wu Xian's stealth technique is none other than the ultimate secret art, Hidden Heaven Stealth Technique, Emperor Gui Su explained. Throughout the origin continent, there are very few stealth techniques that can rival it. Luo Feng was astonished. To comprehend an ultimate secret art while only at the second stage of the God King realm was extremely difficult. Of course, his teacher, Emperor Chu, had also achieved this, as it was essential for mastering the secret art of the ultimate life form. After mastering it, one needed to use numerous precious treasures to complete the transformation into an ultimate life form. Next, we'll head into the mid layer of the dream realm. After that, we'll need Brother Luo He's help to scout the way, Emperor Gui Su said, turning to Luo Feng. End of chapter. Chapter 194, The Middle Layer, 8th of Volume 5. Leave it to me, Luo Feng said confidently. He carried one-tenth of the energy reserves of his world life form, enough to create numerous avatars. Buzz. God King Wu Xian used his stealth technique, and without the interference of the two ancient nations formations, their travel speed significantly increased. It felt as though they were passing through bubble after bubble, swiftly moving through one isolated space after another. According to the information, the Dream Realm seems like a collection of countless bubbles, each one being an independent space with different rules, creatures, and treasures, Luo Feng thought to himself in amazement. Exploring the Dream Realm was akin to treasure hunting. The Dream Realm is divided into the Outer Layer, Middle Layer, Deep Layer, and the Dark Zone, Emperor Gui Su explained. The deeper one goes, the more profound the impact on mental will. In the Outer Layer, a God King's first stage will can remain clear. In the Middle Layer, it takes a God King's second stage will to stay awake. The deep layer requires an ultimate God King's will, while the dark zone, only a will that surpasses the God King level can explore it. There are only a few beings in the entire origin continent with such a powerful will. We'll primarily explore the middle layer, God King Wu Xian added. We all possess ultimate God King wills, Emperor Gui Su continued. Luo He is fine, but the three of us still need to divert some of our focus to suppress the remnants of the Hunyuan bloodline's will. If we venture into the deep layer, it's easy to lose control. Luo Feng nodded. His three companions had all cultivated the Hunyuan bloodline, and all possessed ultimate God King wills. For Emperor Gui Su and God King Wu Xian, having ultimate God King wills was expected given their power. However, God King Yun Tian, as an invincible first stage God King, having such a will was rare, and one of the reasons she was invited to join the reincarnation pavilion. Before Luo Feng, she was the only first stage God King ever recruited. Another reason Yun Tian was recruited was that she had excavated the Hunyuan bloodline to an extremely high degree. At one point, her second stage God King will had completely lost control, causing immense destruction. After enduring the torment of fluctuating between clarity and chaos, her mental will eventually transformed, breaking through to the ultimate stage, allowing her to remain conscious. We've reached the middle layer. As they chatted, God King Wu Xian had already led the group to one of the spaces in the middle layer of the dream realm. This space was slightly darker than the outer layer. It was vast, with countless plants growing everywhere, resembling a mountainous forest world. Just as the intel reported, the deeper we go into the dream realm, the darker it gets. The so-called dark zone is absolute darkness. Only a will surpassing that of a god king can use mental strength to penetrate and observe it, Luo Feng noted, feeling satisfied with the effects of the middle layer on his mental will. The pervasive influence of the dream realm was subtle but continuous, gradually pulling a cultivator deeper into it. Under the pressure of the dream realm, training in the great destruction heart refining technique will certainly increase the stress on my mind, making the results even better, Luo Feng thought, pleased. Luo He, brother, would you mind scouting the surroundings? Emperor Gui Su requested. Stay away from areas with too many Dream Realm creatures, God King Wu Xian advised. They are troublesome to deal with. Don't worry. Luo Feng smiled slightly. Whoosh. He immediately divided into nine avatars clad in black scales, flying in all directions to begin carefully exploring the space within the middle layer. The Dream Realm's middle layer contained many spaces, according to Origin Continent's history, there could be tens of thousands of these spaces. And over time, these spaces would constantly change. After one or two eras, the spaces would be completely transformed, making previous maps and intel useless. Each time, explorers had to conduct fresh, on-site investigations. The creatures of the Dream Realm's middle layer, as described in the intel, are bizarre and very greatly in strength. The weakest are at the level of ordinary god kings, while the strongest can reach the ultimate realm, though they generally have low intelligence and simple, clumsy techniques, Luo Feng mused as his nine avatars scouted the area. One of his avatars was flying through the forest, carefully sensing and observing the surroundings. 
He used his formless, shapeless ability to completely conceal his aura, blending into the environment like an ordinary rock or tree. What is that? Luo Feng spotted a dazzling light in the distance and immediately flew closer to get a better view. Upon approaching, he saw it clearly, a tree entirely red, with a single fruit on it that radiated endless light and swayed gently. The fruit was emitting a laugh, and upon hearing it, Luo Feng felt an undeniable attraction. The light is coming from that fruit, Luo Feng realized, feeling drawn to it. It gives me a sense that it's far stronger than the Hanyuan Crystal Spirit Fruit. Is there no danger around this fruit? Luo Feng cautiously investigated as he approached. If there was truly no obstacle, he would pluck it and flee. Just as Luo Feng was carefully examining the area. Hmm. A massive eye suddenly opened in the distant sky, and only then did Luo Feng notice a colossal and indistinct head, its sheer size was beyond comprehension. Boom. An invisible, terrifying force instantly crashed onto Luo Feng's body. The avatar, holding about one thousandth of his energy reserves, was crushed into nothingness in an instant. So weak, said the giant eye in the sky as it closed, preparing to go back to sleep. But then, it glanced back in confusion. The area it had just obliterated had once again gathered invisible energy, forming another of Luo Feng's avatars. Run! It's a dream realm creature at the ultimate level. Luo Feng never imagined that in the middle layer of the dream realm, where the strongest beings were supposed to be at the God King's ultimate level, he would encounter one right on his first investigation. The destructive power was simply irresistible. Whoosh! Luo Feng fled, but once again, an immense, terrifying force descended. This time, Luo Feng sensed it more clearly, it was a gigantic, indistinct hand pressing down like the sky itself. Smash! Luo Feng's body was obliterated again. But each part of the world lifeform's energy was filled with endless vitality and life force, akin to the source of life itself. Naturally, it absorbed energy from the void and reformed. Interesting, the giant eye muttered in a daze, watching curiously as Luo Feng's avatar was destroyed again and again, only to reform each time. Each time it raised its colossal hand, Luo Feng escaped billions of kilometers away in a flash. After seven consecutive strikes, the giant hand finally stopped. Luo Feng had exited the creature's territory, and it no longer bothered to chase him. It's not pursuing anymore. Luo Feng's avatar glanced back, a bit shaken. It destroyed my avatar seven times in a row. Fortunately, although its power was terrifying, its destructive ability wasn't that overwhelming. If it had been my master, Emperor Chu, a life form at the ultimate level of the Tao of Destruction, two or three hits would have wiped me out completely. My avatar still has about 30 to 40 percent of its energy left, Luo Feng thought. These dream realm creatures can't leave their respective spaces, but their strength is absurdly powerful. I wonder how Ancestor Yuan managed to create them. An intruder. Suddenly, fifteen stone monsters appeared, each possessing the strength of a second-stage god king, and they began to frantically chase Luo Feng's avatar. Luo Feng had no choice but to flee in panic. Roar. As Luo Feng flew over a lake, a massive mouth suddenly emerged from the water with a deafening roar. Luo Feng lost control and fell, swallowed whole by the monstrous mouth. Inside its belly, Luo Feng spent a long while unleashing his six strikes of chaos technique. The creature, unable to digest him, eventually spat him out, and Luo Feng quickly fled again. No wonder God King Wu Xian was so happy for me to join, it turns out he was the one scouting in the past, Luo Feng finally understood how difficult it was to scout the dream realm. Although God King Wu Xian had the hidden heaven stealth technique, even he had to flee in embarrassment many times when faced with the terrifying creatures of the dream realm. In the middle layer of the dream realm, within a forested space, God King Wu Xian, Emperor Gui Su, God King Yun Tian, and Luo Feng were gathered. Brother Luo, you've worked hard. Come, have a drink, said God King Wu Xian as he pulled out some fine wine and poured it generously. Scouting isn't easy. In the past, it was always me. Gui Su and Yun Tian don't have the skills to scout. It's definitely not easy, Luo Feng admitted, thinking that his abilities were strong, but he still had a hard time scouting. The Dream Realm creatures all live within their respective spaces and rarely venture far from their spots, said Emperor Gui Su, who was sitting nearby. Their intelligence is generally quite low, it feels like they are symbiotic with their environments. If they were more intelligent, treasure hunting would be impossible, said God King Wu Xian with a chuckle. The four of them continued drinking and chatting, but Luo Feng's nine avatars were enduring hardships in the meantime. I've discovered a location with treasure, Luo Feng suddenly said. One of the nine avatars he had sent out had made a find. Oh. God King Wu Xian, Emperor Gui Su, and God King Yun Tian all perked up. There are nine dream realm creatures near the treasure. Three of them are at the second stage of God King, while the other six are slightly weaker, Luo Feng explained. The dream realm creatures did not know how to conceal their auras, so it was easy to gauge their strength. We can make a move. God King Wu Xian laughed. Brother Luo, you really are great at scouting. You've already found treasure so quickly. Come on, lead the way. Luo Feng, God King Wu Xian, Emperor Gui Su, and God King Yun Tian immediately set off together. Meanwhile, another team had also arrived at the forested space in the middle layer of the dream realm. 
This is the seventh space we've scouted in the middle layer of the dream realm, said a figure with short white hair leading the group of seven powerful beings. Although his aura was the weakest among them, only at the chaos realm level, he was clearly the leader. This space, the white-haired figure observed, has three strong presences. It seems this area has nurtured three ultimate level creatures. There are also seven other areas, likely containing large groups of dream realm creatures, which we'll need to avoid. A map appeared in midair, marking ten dangerous locations. Jiu avoid these ten spots. Explore the other areas carefully, the white-haired leader ordered. Yes, palace master, responded a winged woman named Jiu Yu. Immediately, figures flew out from her body, numerous avatars spreading out in all directions to begin their exploration. This the palace master of the two realms palace was from beyond the origin continent. Even though he was suppressed by the supreme rules, limiting his power to the upper levels of the chaos realm, his level of mastery was far too high. Along with his members of the two realms palace, he could easily infiltrate without the two great nations noticing. He also bestowed powerful secret treasures and weapons, caring little for most of the treasures himself. Naturally, this attracted many ancient beings to join the two realms palace. End of chapter. Chapter 195, Reincarnation Pavilion and Two Realms Palace, 9th of Volume 5. Luo Feng led the way as God King Wu Exian used his hidden heaven stealth technique to bring the team closer. Look. Luo Feng pointed ahead. In the distance, there were several gracefully swaying purple flowers, emitting faint purple light that strongly attracted cultivators like them. The rare treasures produced in the dream realm are highly beneficial to us beings trapped within the cage, observed Emperor Guo Su. These are the relatively common purple heart realm flowers. Each one is worth 3 million merit points. From here, it looks like there are 7 of them. In Origin Continent, the value of treasures is assessed based on the merit system of the two great ancient nations. Where are the Dream Realm creatures? asked God King Wu Exian. Over there. Luo Feng pointed into the distance. Those trees surrounding the flowers may seem ordinary, but they're actually plant life forms. Once we get close, 9 of these plant creatures will attack. Luo Feng pointed out the 9 inconspicuous trees. Emperor Guo Su studied them. Taking them down isn't difficult, but we have to be careful not to damage the treasures. As we discussed earlier, Yun Tian will deploy the poisonous mist. Wu Exian and I will attack, while Luo He will protect the treasures. Wu Exian, Yun Tian, and Luo Feng all nodded in agreement. Luo Feng knew that when it came to complex techniques, he was far inferior to God King Wu Exian and Emperor Guo Su. His strength lay in his numerous clones and his ability to endure attacks. So in critical moments, he could entangle the Dream Realm creatures and protect the treasures as much as possible. Let's begin. Under the Hidden Heaven Stealth Technique, the four swiftly closed in on the purple flowers. Buzz! Invisible rules rippled around them, revealing the figures of Luo Feng and his companions. The nine tree lifeforms, guided by these rules, stretched out massive branches like large hands. From the ground, thick roots emerged, twisting toward them. In the Dream Realm, treasures seem to be the key to its operation. Once you approach them, the rules of the Dream Realm force any concealment techniques to fail. Even entities from Two Realms Palace, Myriad Worlds Pavilion, and the Temporal Void Boat will be forced to reveal themselves when nearing a treasure due to the Dream Realm's operational rules. Although it was Luo Feng's first time in the Dream Realm, he could already sense the unique way it functioned. The operational rules of the Dream Realm were distinct and completely different from the Supreme Rules of Origin Continent. While they weren't as perfect as the Supreme Rules of Origin Continent, the level was still far beyond what beings trapped within the cage, like Luo Feng, could comprehend. Squeak. 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 The nine tree lifeforms appeared, three of them with auras more terrifying than God King Tian Kun. The remaining six had the strength of invincible First Realm God Kings. However, all of them had clumsy moves and low intelligence, a common trait of Dream Realm creatures. At that moment, the nine tree creatures were silently being corroded. Their bodies began to show signs of damage. The six weaker ones were riddled with holes in an instant, while the strength of the three stronger ones was severely diminished. What a terrifying poison, Luo Feng was astonished as he watched. I've heard that this poison doesn't just erode the body but also the soul. A god king of the Thunder Nation's royal family was instantly killed by this poison, his soul destroyed with no chance for reincarnation. This was god king Yuntian's doing. Her poison wasn't part of any supreme rule. Instead, it was a horrific poison extracted from the Hunyuan bloodline. Even though she could only unleash a small amount, it struck fear into any being below the ultimate realm. Even Emperor Guo Su and god king Wu Exian had to be cautious when facing it. Colorless and invisible, I can't even see how she deployed it, but all the Dream Realm creatures have fallen victim to it. Luo Feng understood why the Reincarnation Pavilion made an exception to recruit a First Realm God King like her. Boom. 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 Three terrifying bolts of lightning struck the three powerful tree lifeforms, leaving them instantly shattered. Emperor Guo Su revealed his eight arms, each holding a weapon, and the might of these weapons was extremely terrifying. The eight arms moved simultaneously, and in the blink of an eye, the three severely damaged tree lifeforms were completely crushed and obliterated. God King Wu Exian was even faster. With just six consecutive sword strikes, he eliminated the six weakened tree lifeforms with reduced strength. 
Meanwhile, Luo Feng used his world power to shield the treasures, ready to take the impact with his body if necessary. Luckily, both Emperor Gui Su and God King Wu Exian acted decisively and did not harm the nearby plants. Emperor Gui Su is recorded as one who practices the Tao of material origin. But his eight arms can unleash techniques involving lightning, bloodlight, fire, water, and other elements. The combination of these eight moves is so terrifying that even a second realm god king couldn't withstand it, Luo Feng observed, recognizing the fearsome coordination of the eight techniques. In terms of strength, Luo Feng could fight a powerful plant life form one on one, but to completely destroy it? That was beyond him. Even though god king Yuntian's poison had eroded their power, Emperor Gui Su's dominance still left Luo Feng astonished. No wonder he had managed to escape from the calculated ambush of three emperors, even surrendering his secret treasure, and still reincarnated. What he was displaying now was probably just his regular techniques, not his most lethal strikes. That went rather smoothly, Emperor Gui Su smiled as he examined the purple flowers. These seven purple heart realm flowers are in excellent condition. Wu Exian, you can harvest them. God King Wu Exian nodded. Luo Feng and God King Yuntian watched from the side, as this had all been agreed upon beforehand. Among the four, God King Wu Exian had the strongest survival abilities, making him the most suitable to carry the treasures. They would only divide the spoils once they had exited the dream realm. As per the prior agreement, Emperor Gui Su and God King Wu Exian would each take 35%, Luo He, as the Pathfinder, would take 20%, and God King Yuntian would take 10%. In the harsh environment of the Dream Realm, pathfinding was extremely crucial. If anyone contributed significantly during the process, the distribution ratio could be adjusted amicably afterward. God King Wu Exian skillfully picked all seven Purple Heart Realm flowers and then looked at Luo Feng with a smile, Brother Luo He, how much treasure we find depends on how much you can locate. I'm doing my best, Luo Feng replied, as his nine clones continued to venture into dangerous areas. Time passed. Their team worked efficiently, discovering a new treasure every one or two days. These treasures were immensely valuable, even beneficial to Second Realm God Kings. Luo Feng was in a great mood. With his 20% share, he was earning at least a million merit points each time. This was much faster than completing guest tasks for the Yenfeng ancient nation. Emperor Gui Su, God King Wu Exian, and God King Yuntian were more composed since they were long accustomed to this. At Emperor Gui Su's level, earning hundreds of millions of merit points in one trip to the Dream Realm wasn't uncommon. Of course, if they made a mistake and their true bodies died here, the losses would be substantial. Both Emperor Gui Su and God King Yuntian had died in various treasure grounds before, more than once. However, they had long since refined parts of their Hunyuan bloodline into their true bodies, which were stored safely outside. With enough treasures to nourish them, they could retrain their bodies back to full strength. God King Wu Exian, except for his intentional reincarnation that one time, had never died during treasure hunts. In this space alone, I've already accumulated over 10 million merit points worth of treasures. According to the plan, we're set to explore five spaces in the mid-layer of the Dream Realm, Luo Feng thought to himself. The more spaces they explored, the more likely unexpected situations would arise. These surprises could come from the Dream Realm itself or from other cultivators. Emperor Gui Su and his team, based on past experience, had set the goal to explore five spaces. Luo Feng estimated that their total haul could exceed 100 million merit points. This was the kind of resource that true experts in Origin Continent prized. Compared to these treasure grounds, the resources gained from ruling a nation were much less attractive. However, their subordinates, such as ordinary god kings, chaos realm cultivators, disciples, and family clans, still needed territorial dominion. Meanwhile, the team from Two Realms Palace was also exploring the forested space. Hmm. The white-haired palace master suddenly looked up into the distance. The six other second realm god kings in the team looked toward the palace master, trusting in his abilities. Interesting, the white-haired palace master murmured as he locked onto a trace of aura. He raised his head, gazing into the distance, his sight following the trail through an endless distance until he saw Luo Feng and his team in action. It's the team from the reincarnation pavilion, and one of them is Gui Su, the white-haired palace master smiled. In treasure grounds like this, everyone acted in secrecy, concealing their identities. That way, even if someone acquired a precious treasure, the Origin Continent wouldn't know who had obtained it. However, Emperor Gui Su didn't care about this, he was a figure who couldn't be seen openly in the outside world either. Reincarnation Pavilion? Again? The six Second Realm God Kings behind him all harbored hostility. Despite Reincarnation Pavilion's small membership, they had repeatedly competed for treasures, and Two Realms Palace had lost more often than not, suffering significant losses. Naturally, the enmity had only deepened. Since we've come across our old friends from Reincarnation Pavilion, of course we have to send them a little gift, the white-haired palace master said. We previously discovered that Dream Realm creature clan, and they are extremely protective of their kind. Jiu Yu, go and capture one of those creatures to lure the entire clan toward Reincarnation Pavilion's team. Let the Dream Realm creature clan severely wound them first, and then we'll strike, wiping them out. Kill as many true bodies as we can, the white-haired palace master's eyes glinted coldly. 
He was always united with the members of Two Realms Palace, but when it came to non-members and other factions competing for treasures, he never showed mercy. Palace Master, leave it to me, the winged woman eagerly replied. That reincarnation pavilion team must have explored several Dream Realm spaces by now, likely amassing a sizable hull. If we destroy their true bodies, we might even gain some of those treasures. They destroyed my true body last time. The other members were filled with hostility. Meanwhile, Luo Feng and his three companions were drinking by a lakeside, enjoying a meal. Of course, Luo Feng's nine clones continued searching for treasures. This forested space should be explored a few more times for treasures, Emperor Guo Su said, then we can move on to the next Dream Realm space. Agreed, Luo Feng nodded. We've already taken the more easily obtainable treasures. The remaining ones, are indeed well guarded, either by ultimate level Dream Realm creatures or large clans of Dream Realm creatures. Hmm. God King Wu Xian suddenly frowned, turning his gaze into the distance. Emperor Guo Su, God King Yun Tian, and Luo Feng all became alert, though their senses weren't as keen as God King Wu Xian's. Whoosh! Suddenly, a winged woman appeared out of nowhere, holding a stone monster, and charged straight toward Luo Feng's group. Two Realms Palace. Though unclear of the winged woman's true identity, Emperor Guo Su and the others had seen this disguise many times before. I've brought you a gift, the winged woman sneered. Boom! The moment the winged woman and the stone monster neared Emperor Guo Su and his companions, they seemed to trigger some invisible force, suddenly exploding into dust, both the woman and the stone monster disintegrating entirely. Rumble. From the void, towering stone monsters began to emerge, followed by smaller stone monsters. At a glance, there were hundreds of them, densely packed in the sky. These stone monsters hovered mid-air, tears streaming down their faces. Then, with overwhelming hatred in their eyes, they fixated on Luo Feng's group. Their rage made the entire sky start to turn blood red, filling the air with a terrifying pressure that shook Luo Feng and his companions. Far in the distance, the team from Two Realms Palace, led by the Palace Master, used a secret technique to watch the scene unfold. End of chapter. Looking for more novels? Feel free to explore my playlist.